Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. This is a Cancer reading for all signs. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Also cross watchers as well. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. I appreciate all the support and the love that you show this channel. I salute the divinity in you. Much love, love and light to you all. Thank you. So let's jump in. We've got messages here from the Romance Angels to outline this reading. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. Lovely. So let's get some tarot and tap into the energies surrounding your current situation. Do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There's no gender in tarot or just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got the three of wands, we've got the five of wands and we've got the sun. Leo energy. Right, let's clarify. We've got the page of pentacles, we've got the devil, Capricorn energy, and three of swords. Right, so that's further clarified with the star, Aquarius energy. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay. Right. So yeah, I can see her. Um, yeah, this reading is picking up the energy of your person that wants to be with you so bad with that devil energy yeah this is someone that really wants to be with you at this point yeah um they're obsessed yeah this is someone that's really addicted to you they're addicted to your energy and uh they can't let you go. This is someone that cannot let you go. They actually want to be with you. It's like you're this person's sunshine. We've got the sun here. You're this person's sunshine. You, you light up this person's world. Oh, You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. When skies are grey You never know just how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Oh, <laughs> oh This is what I'm channeling Oh Little nursery Nursery rhyme song This, yeah, they, they don't want you to take Their sunshine away You are their sunshine I mean yeah, you just don't know how this how much this person feels for you. So, um, whatever happened between you guys, because I can see there's conflict, you guys are just, like, not really seeing eye to eye at this time. There's this five of wands. So, um, whatever disagreement you guys may have, this person wants to make amends. They want to resolve any, resolve any issues, any conflicts. They don't want to fuss and fight with you anymore. They just want peace and harmony. Because I can see this person is like, really like, heartbroken here. They're really heartbroken, you know, like, yeah, they miss you. They miss you. They don't want to fight anymore with you, whatever whatever happened between you guys they just want to work it out and uh, you know make amends here yeah I can see this person really wants to like open up communication with you they want to 
offer, offer a brand new start. Page of Pentacles. It came out in reverse. Not the three of ones. So I feel like, I mean, this person is planning um, on, um, you know, working things out with you here. I mean, I feel like at this time, they, they really feel like restricted. I feel like this person feels restricted here. Maybe, yeah, because I feel like with the High Priestess energy, for some of you, you know, you've gone within and you're not really saying much, you know, High Priestess energy is, uh, you know, quite withdrawn, you know, very mysterious, you know. Um, so maybe this is how you're coming off to this person. This, I'm, I'm hearing this person doesn't know how to read you. That's what it is. So um, as much as they would like to like kiss and make up, I feel like what's holding them back is they don't know how you feel. And this is someone that is scared of rejection. They don't want to be rejected. They have fears. I'm hearing insecurities. You know, this person is quite insecure. Deep down, you know. I feel like, you know, because they want you so badly. Like, if you don't, if you don't feel the same, it would actually, it would absolutely crush them, you know. They will, it's, I mean, it's heartbreaking as it is right about now. You know. I feel like you guys are separated and this separation is, you know, it's just, it's killing this person right now. They are heartbroken. They miss you. But I just feel like, you know, you're not given to this situation. We've got six of pentacles in reverse, lack of balance, lack of equal give and take. You guys are not on the same page. This is how they feel like, you know, you're not on the same page as them. You, you don't want the same things. You know, I feel like, you know, they they do obsess over you, they watch you, they spy on you. I feel like they're trying to look for a sign, you know, like to see how you feel about them, if you're going to show, if you're going to open up, give them the green light. But I feel like you're in your high priestess energy, you know. I feel like I'm talking to people here that's very intuitive, you know, you have strong intuition yourself. Some of you might even be tarot card readers yourself you know we've got the star energy here as well some of you are healers you know you have that healing quality to heal other people you know you're admired you're admired a lot of people admire your energy you know very healing energy and that high priestess there and, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, you're this person's sunshine. You're the star in their life. I mean, only you can give this person the healing that they need, that they want. This is how they see it. They, this person doesn't want anybody else but you. If they were in a third-party situation, a karmic situation, I feel like that's coming to an end. You got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, I feel like whatever situation they had outside of you, that's if it's not over already, it's, it's going to be over because this person cannot carry on without you. It just doesn't make sense. You know, they're obsessed over you, so they're unable to give to anybody else. And uh, I can see, yeah, this is someone that is. Uh, Hoping and praying that you would return to them. I mean, they want to reach out. But they fear rejection. They fear rejection. I feel like they are waiting for you. For some of you, this person is hoping and praying that you would return. They are waiting for you. Worth waiting for. Here, I feel like this person may be waiting for you. 
I feel like for some of you, you may have always been the one to initiate contact with this person. So this is what they're hoping for this time around, you know. But um, with that High Priestess energy, I feel for some of you, you know, you've gone within, you've pulled back your energy, you focus on yourself. And uh, you're listening to your intuition here. Because I feel like it's uh, at this point, at this point, I feel like it's this person that needs to really just uh, overcome their fears. And I feel like they need to, like, open up here. We've got to let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, with that devil energy, I know. I feel like... <laughs> This person, you know, they're very controlling, you know, and it's like they have to, they feel like they have to control every situation, you know. So this is why they, they fear getting into new situations without knowing the outcome. This is why this person wants to reach out to you, but they don't know the outcome because they don't know how you feel. They can't read you. So... That's all part of being controlling, you know. I mean, it's all about having faith. And I feel like this is the lesson here for your person. I feel like they need to, you know, really have faith in what they believe in. We've got messages here from the Oracle deck. We've got it's up to you. We've got forgiveness, ask your angels. Yeah, I really feel like this is the guidance here. I feel like your person is being divinely guided to like, really, like, have faith, you know. And, uh, you know, connect with their intuition here. We got, it's up to you. Yeah, because I feel like this was a one-sided situation. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You may have been giving more to this situation than they was. So I feel like at this point now, it's, uh, you know, it's their duty to bring back, to bring in that balance and give to you now. And reach out to you. And initiate contact. Yeah, so it says here, it's up to you. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can affect that outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Right. This is it. This is it. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this is a lesson for your person to like really have confidence and stand in their power and believe in what they, what they want. And believe that they have what it takes to have a happy ending. I feel like this is someone that is just putting all the burden on you to do everything. And you know, like, like I said, this is one-sided. This was a one-sided connection. You was doing more than this person was in this connection. And, uh, you know, I feel like they got used to that. But it's it's uh, it's causing an imbalance. It's, it's, it's lack of balance here. So in order to bring back balance, this person has to really stand and stand in their power here and, uh, you know, overcome their fears, listen to their intuition, you know, ask their angels. We've got ask your angels here as well. And it says, your angels are always with you. However, you must ask for their assistance in order for them to provide you with the help you're seeking. State your questions to your angels clearly. You can do so either out loud or silently in your mind. Your angels will instantly help you according to divine will. Your angels may have a special message for you about the situation. Sit quietly in a peaceful place, indoors or out in nature and ask for advice and guidance and notice what messages come to you. Yeah, you can ask your angels for signs during the day to guide you onto the right path. 
this is it i mean our angels is always are surrounding us all the time we are surrounded by divine powers and they work for us when you do right your divine powers always works for us when you do right this person has to just do the right thing for themselves they just got to just take control of their life to free themselves from their fears from their anxieties you know and build up confidence build a confidence and just take control of their life and just do what's right for them you know let go of control and just go with the flow here uh, I feel like yeah I mean this is a situation where in order for you to know that this person has changed this is what they would have to do they will have to show you you know it's all about show and prove this is why i feel like you've gone within your intuition is guiding you and telling you you know to just remain silent until this person opens up i mean like i feel like it's a, f I mean, it may seem cruel because we've got the three of swords here. I mean, this person is hurting. But sometimes, you you know, like they say, sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. Because you are actually giving this, you know, this person encouragement to believe in themselves, you know, to have self-love. I mean, that is, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I mean, it's a tough lesson. I feel like it's a tough lesson for your person here. It's really tough for them. It is a tough lesson, but um, I feel like it's needed. I feel like because we've got the devil energy here, this is someone that is stubborn. This is why it's tough. Because they're stubborn. Like I said, you was giving to this person. You know, you was there for them at one point, but they were just taking and taking, and they were just not giving back. So it's a tough lesson now for them to give back to you. So it's for them to initiate contact, I feel. And that's the only way that they can prove to you that they have changed. That will be a, a strong indication that this person has changed. Then you'll know, like, wow, this person has changed. <laughs> yeah, we got... Let me dig deeper. We've got the Nine of Cups as well. Wish fulfillment. I'm telling you to clarify the star. I'm telling you, you oh, you make this person so happy. You're you're the you are this person's dream come true. Wow. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. They're very passionate towards you. They're very highly attracted to you here. This is what I'm saying. They admire your confidence. You might have fire in your chart here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they admire your passion and your confidence. You know. And we've got the Ten of Wands. Yeah. they. I feel like, yeah, your silence is, is a burden for this person. It's a burden. Because I feel like you was always initiating contact. And, uh, you know, in this connection here. And the fact that you're not doing that anymore it is becoming a burden for this person. They don't like it. They're hurt. They're stressed. And uh, they're missing you. I mean, that is clear. We've got children here. If you don't have children with this person, I feel like this person wants children with you. Your love life is being affected by children. Yeah, this person wants you to have their child. If you don't already, maybe you guys are meant to have children together. Mm. But yeah, this person's obsessed with you, and I feel like they they're gonna they want to reach out here. They want to reach out, and uh, it's all about forgiveness. It's all about forgiving, releasing and healing the past here. They want to make amends. They don't want to fuss and fight no more. They miss you. So you may hear from this person soon. It's up to you. But I wish you all the best, you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all real soon.